What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a new video. So today is going to be video number one of a new series I'm starting called Shopify How To. The idea of this series is just to show you guys how to do those quick and simple tasks that if you're a beginner then you might not know how to do. So I've been getting a lot of questions especially through Instagram um, and the same sort of questions seem to pop up. So I thought why not do a video series where I can explain it on video. It's a lot easier to explain or show somebody than it is to put it into words. So today we're going to be looking at how to install the Facebook Pixel. Before we get started though, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed. We're at 99 subscribers. We need one more to hit that 100 mark. And I've been thinking about doing some sort of competition or giveaway, uh, but I'm not really sure what to do yet. So any ideas at all then, leave a comment below. Um, so this series then, oh, the idea of it is I want it to be fueled by the questions you guys are asking. I'm not going to add to it unless somebody asks a question. So if there is a quick and easy task that you might not know how to do, then uh, leave a comment below and I can do a video on it. That being said, let's get into the video. Installing the Facebook Pixel then, how do we do it? So on the left, we've got our Shopify backend or your Shopify dashboard, whatever you choose to call it. As you can see, it's a brand new store. It's the store I've created for the 0 to one inch k series. If you're interested in watching, then I'll put a link in one of the corners. On the right, we've got a brand new ad account. Again, this is the ad account for the new store. So again, there's been no activity just yet. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is click on campaign tab at the top here and then we're gonna click on this create button. I'm just gonna move across into the middle so you can see what's going on. We're gonna click on conversions as you need a pixel to track your conversions. And then the campaign name at this point is not important. So leave it as that and we're gonna go ahead and click on set up add account. Check over these details, make sure they're correct for yourself and then just go ahead and click continue. And then the next thing we're gonna do is click on create a pixel. A pop-up will load, it will give you a default name. It's up to you what you choose this. I'm just gonna leave it as a default and then just go ahead and click create. Once this loads, go ahead and click on install pixel now and then you're gonna get these three options here. The one we want to choose is use an integration or tag manager. So we'll click on that and then we're gonna choose Shopify. And then it actually gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it yourself. But we're gonna show you guys how to do it. So we're gonna copy and paste the pixel number here. We're gonna click on next. And then we're gonna find the place in which we need to put it on our Shopify store. So we'll head back to our Shopify dashboard. We're gonna click on online store preferences and once this load it's going to give us a box to paste that code into or that number into so if we scroll down as you can see here it says Facebook pixel so we paste the ID in here and then all we're going to do is go ahead and click save and that's it that's as simple as it is the great thing about Shopify and Facebook is they integrate very well there's no coding required all you need to do is what I've shown you and that's how you correctly install your Facebook Pixel. So that's how you install the Facebook Pixel then guys. I hope you found it helpful. I apologize for the weird cutting and editing. My computer crashed and I was unable to get back to a certain step. Uh, but hopefully it made sense. Any questions at all then of course let me know down below. Uh, check the links out in the description. There's some free ebooks there and a free Facebook group as well. So thanks for watching and see you next time.